Okay guys, um, today is basically a video I decided to uh, start fresh. Um, basically done, uh, deleted everything that I had, I re-downloaded it to a complete start, um, and downloaded some different uh, mods to the game, like a uh, realistic mod, I don't know if you've heard of that. Um, I will show you, show you part of that, what it is and stuff like that. Um, all sorts really. Um, I'll put all, everything that will be in the video or that I'll describe about I will put in a link in the description for you um, and yeah really I'll just basically throughout the video I'll show you what I've been doing what mods I've been installing and stuff like that um, I do have them all ready for like for you to go like to go through the whole lot it makes it a lot makes the video a lot quicker for you um, and everything else yeah yeah um, first of all I've downloaded this, which is a save. Which is a save game. It's on one of my previous videos. Um, it does basically it has a, like billions, trillions of money. Uh, so you'd never have to um, basically start ever again, basically, unless you're pay playing it for years on end, and then maybe you'll have to. But um, and your, your level is obviously quite high as well. So uh, that's a good good way to start if you are starting afresh, um, which is good. Also, we have. Um, because of the truck that I use as a Scania, um, I decided to get an engine upgrade, um, which is this one. Makes it a hell of a lot easier, especially yes, hell of a lot easier, especially if you're doing heavier loads, um, like the Baobab tree, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, which can weigh up to anything up to the top of 70 tons. So that, that'll help it a hell of a lot. Um, let me show you that. This one, um, oversized load. Overloaded load even. Um, you do get these in the game, but then it's got to be potluck of when you when you get it or whatever. Um, yeah, the baobab tree, which is what I was on about. It's a really long load, heavy load as well. Um, pretty easy. It's a little bit of a challenge for you in the game. Um, just another little trailer mod, flatbed trailers. Um, another heavy one. Haven't tried this out yet, so we'll see how this goes in the game. You can get them like this, look, big yacht. Um, so we'll see when we get to the game if there is one or not. If it, if not, then it's like I said before, the Baobab tree and the other one. It's basically potluck of when you get it, really. Um, reflector mod. Basically, at night time, I've not used this one either, so it's new to new to me again. Um, press this, see what it's like. There you go, look. Got the reflectors on the side to obviously make it a lot easier for you at night. Um, that's this, that's the first one I'm, I'm using. Um, just so it makes it a lot easier. Um, realistic mod. Uh, this is supposed to basically make it more realistic within the game. Um, this is a new one again for me. Um, We'll go on to this and it will sort of show you what I mean. If we skip ahead a little bit. See how the truck's bouncing around there, look. That's what it's supposed to do in the game. There's not much, not a lot of that. So that's what it's supposed to do. Let me move on again. Is it in the game as well, look. All stuff, all stuff like that, really. There you go. So yeah, that's a new one to me again. Um, another one we were installing is a this Pro Mods uh, Scandinavia edition. Basically, it's supposed to install um, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and Finland. There you go. Highlighted there. Um, it's supposed to install that onto the game. Um, however, I have I've tried. I have had a look at this. Um, no thanks. Don't know what that was about. Um, yeah, I had had a look at this, but I can't find it on the map. Maybe you've got to um, drive around, try and find it, whatever. Um, but you, every, all of this that you have so far um, that I've showed you, you have to install into your Trek Simulator 2 folder and then mod folder, other than the save game one. Um, 
and then just to make it pretty I've got my got this skin um, and this interior yeah um, yeah we've, obviously with all the mods bar the save game um, you install it into your Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder and then into your mod folder um, and then with the save game that's on here now um, you don't you put that into your Euro Truck Simulator 2 folder and then profiles folder um, I'll just show you which one I mean right all, every, all of them go into the mod and then the save game goes into that one okay um, yeah right with this one we we'll start over again um, you go on to click download where it says download 220kb I know my mouse isn't great but we'll go on to that and it'll bring it up and then you want to click um, click here to start download from SendSpace um, and that will download it um, I've obviously already got it um, so it doesn't have to see so have to faff around with all that um, go on to that one obviously that's the engine mod when you go on to all this you want to go on to the yellow highlighted one the one that I've just highlighted there um, click that and it will download it but we won't have to worry about that so just ignore that Right. Uh, this one exactly the same if you go down you want to click on the rebook I think that says uh, pack cargas also obviously Spanish you click on that and that downloads it as well um, baobab tree click on download here with the, two, with the one with it says 2.1 megabyte the one that I've just highlighted again you click on that and it should come should download again Oh, my mistake. Click on to down download now the orange button, and it will download. And you'll probably get some crap come up in the screen, like a an advertisement or whatever. Um, flatbed, exactly the same. Download three megabyte, the one that's highlighted. And I think that's exactly the same. Yeah, the orange button. You download that again. Um, this one. Uh, this is obviously from a different website. If you just go on download, and it come up with this, and then what you want to download is this one, it's direct, and it will still come up. I don't know what this one is, but it hasn't affected my game at all. So, yeah, just the second one down, download, download a direct TSM heavy trailer pack. That's the one you want to download, and that should come, should download straight away after 10 seconds. Um, <clears throat> Crash Barry one, exactly the same. It's the last one. Download that one. Should like take ten seconds or whatever. Realistic mod. Download. Exactly the same. Download again. Um, this one. Click on download. And then you want to get. Yeah, download that one and and this one. I think that's probably why it doesn't work. But I download that in a second. I'll show you. This one. Pretty easy. I think I've just shown you that one actually. Um, yeah, skins. Up to you, whatever you want. Yeah, um, you go onto the website. It shows you all up here like, what you want. Um, but yeah, if you want to download this one, it's the highlighted one again. Click on that and it should download. And the same with the interior. Alright. Let's go back to that one, is it? Let this download a minute, sorry. Don't know them. Maybe we don't need it. Anyway, yeah. Obviously, when you get all that, um, it depends if you have Google Chrome or whatever, um, you'll come up with all this in little WinRAR files. That's another thing you need is WinRAR. Um, I will put in the description a link for you that you can download WinRAR if you don't have it but it's be it's always best to have it it's so e so like quick and easy to install or and whatever and it's very useful like for future things that you need um yeah so 
click on each one, whatever you want to do. Um, obviously, make sure you're in your your track simulator folder. Like I said, that's that one. That's the save game, and then the rest of them that you've downloaded should go in your mod mod folder, and they should all be in there. All right. So if we go onto the game, I'll show you what which ones are which. Um, yeah, excuse me. All right, start the game up. Skip all of that. And when you go onto it, obviously the save game will be this one. Um, it is already, uh, yeah, like I said, like not already a save game, so you won't be able to start from scratch and call it, call it whatever. So it will be. His name will be Y Y Y. I don't know why you can't change it, but uh, change whatever you want. Logo, uh, your truck, company logo, and your name. Um, with all the mods that you've downloaded, make sure you have all of them ticked. Otherwise, they will not be in the game at all. Um, quick and simple. Press enable all and then apply. And it'll be up. And then enter your game. Obviously, my setup's already done. That's what my truck looks like. Um, when you get the game, you'll have the interior already in there as it's a uh, part of the mod anyway. Um, but you'll have a white white scanner with um, the strange-looking ball bar at the front. Um, so, uh, so yeah, save game is got all this money look down here, and then at the top. Obviously your ratings 10 to so max and obviously your levels max as well. Or I'll probably go more, I don't know. But yeah. Um Mode map. I don't know about that Scandinavian mod, but uh, maybe like I said you'd probably have to go find it or whatever up up this end or whatever. I think that's where it is. Um Trailers. That's part of your flatbeds there, look. And there's your baobab tree. So, yeah. Um, as well, if you we go on to truck dealers and go to your local, wherever, whatever one it is, I think it's the Scania one, visit the dealer. And I'll show you the engine mod. Just to show you I'm not lying. But I wouldn't lie to you a lot, anyway. Anyway, customise. Um, nothing's really new. Engine. Right to the bottom, and there you go. 1010 10 horsepower with 7600 Nm of torque. Um, yeah. It's pretty quick, I tell you that. Um, and then whatever else is yours. And these are the four skins that you get. Um, obviously black. Let's put the uh, top line one on. You can see it better. Black. Blue. White, even though it says grey, but there we go. And red. Um, yeah. I go into the game. Excuse me. And there it is. As you can see, it's pretty quick. Um, obviously, you can turn the um, what's it called speed out speed uh, speed limit off. So it's obviously obviously if you're first time, I would. Whoops. <laughs> I would. Um, I would keep this limit limit on due to like fines and stuff like that. But obviously, if you're gonna have that much money, it wouldn't really make much difference anyway. But yeah, so
See if his realistic mod works. I don't know if it will or not. Ah, it does sort of. Um, yeah. There you go, that's, that's the start of that, guys. Alright. Um, any questions, just please leave a message um, on a comment. Also, visit my Facebook page and like that one, and I'll, that's probably going to be the best to contact me with as I get uh, notifications on my phone or whatever. Um, so, yeah, give it a like, and you'll have the latest updates and whatever. So, alright, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.